Hi, and welcome back to Digital Decoded. My name is Damien. Uh, so we just got a question from one of our clients on the Google Tag Manager system. And the question was, can we have the same Google Tag Manager installed on two different domains? Uh, normally this wouldn't be a standard scenario and uh, you would normally set up uh, a different Tag Manager container for each domain name. Uh, but in this case, the two domains were part of the same company ecosystem and they wanted to keep things as simple as possible and have the same container installed on both. So in short, yes, you can do that. And through specific conditions that you can set up on the triggers, you can have specific pixels or scripts firing uh, on one domain and not the other and vice versa. It's all just all about how you set up your triggers. So we'll just go ahead and jump into this and take a quick look at this to show you real quick how what this looks like. Uh, and where this would be set up within the within the trigger itself. All right, let's get started. All right, so now we're inside of the Google Tag Manager uh, interface, and we're going to be focusing on two of these specific tags. Uh, this one here, where it's going to be a page view for the franchise homepage, that's on one domain, and then a page view on the main homepage, which is the main uh, company website that advertises its service to the to the consumer. Um, the uh, the tag that we've got set up to fire on the franchise homepage, which is specifically selling this franchise to other business owners or potential business owners, um, is going to fire on a specific domain. So we're going to look at the trigger here. We click on the trigger. And then here we see here we have the page view trigger type, but we have a condition set. So this is going to only fire on some page views. And we've got this set to be the page URL equals and then this is going to be the franchise homepage. So this trigger will not fire on the actual B2C site, which is weedman.com. Uh, this one's going to actually fire on weedmanfranchise.com. So that one's going to create that condition and only allow it to fire on that specific domain. The other one we have set up, uh, if we go into the trigger, uh, this had, here's the conditions here. Um, so the, 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 one condition that we really want to focus on is the second one here, and the page URL does not contain weedmanfranchise.com. So this was added in to make sure that we're not firing this pixel uh, on the weedmanfranchise.com in any case or scenario. Uh, so that's how we've got these two set up now. Um, and now we've got two tags that are being fired specific to the domain that it's on. Um, uh, the rest of these tags are all based on uh, click URLs and click buttons and classes, so uh, those don't matter as well. Uh, the one other one here that may actually uh, have an issue is here. We've also got the does not contain weedmanfranchise.com. So yes, it's possible. Uh, you just have to throw in a couple little bit more items into the trigger log logic. Uh, but yeah, so that's the gist. You can use the same container for two different domains. Not always the same, the, the you know, a scenario where you would do this, but in this case, it, it made sense. All right, let me know if you have any questions or comments.